Hi friends, in this video, we will see how to configure incoming call routing in Servum UCS. Incoming call routing configuration for all the trunks in Servum UCS remains the same. Requirements Eternity GENX with Servum UCS SME application or Eternity MENX or LENX with Servum UCS ENT application. Servum UCS SME or ENT license. Trunk and extension cards installed in Servum UCS. Consider a scenario CO that is central office trunk is connected to Servum UCS on CO port 1. The call coming on this trunk must land on DKP port 1 and should ring for 25 seconds. If not answered, the call should ring on SLT port 1 and ring for 25 seconds. Let us start with the configuration. We will complete the configuration in three steps. CO parameters configuration, trunk features template configuration, trunk landing group or routing group configuration. Let us start with the first step. Login to GUI as system engineer. Go to configuration followed by CO parameters. For other trunks, go to the respective trunk parameters, for example, mobile port parameters for mobile trunks. Assign trunk feature template from 01 to 50 to CO port 1 trunk features template or TFT consists of features for the trunk. We will assign TFT02 in this scenario. Submit the page. This completes the first step. Let us move on to the second step to configure trunk features template. Go to Trunk Features Template. Go to Trunk Features Template 02 as configured in the first step. Configure the Trunk Landing Group or Routing Group from 1 to 96. Trunk Landing Group or Routing Group or TLG or RG is the group of extensions on which the call will land. We can set different TLG or RG for different time zones, namely working hours, break hours and non-working hours. In this case, we will configure same TLG or RG that is 0 to in WH, BH and NH. This completes the second step. Let us move on to the third step of configuring trunk landing group or routing group. Go to trunk landing group or routing group. Go to routing group 02 as configured in the second step. Assign member 1 as DKP 
with port 0001 and ring timer as 25 seconds. Similarly, assign member 2 as SLT with port 0001 and ring timer as 25 seconds. Check continuous ring if required. If continuous ring is checked, the first extension rings continuously with next extension after the call moves to the next extension if not answered by the first. There are 32 members in a routing group, so we can have 32 extensions in a routing group. As we have two extensions in this case, make all other members as none. Check rotation if required. If rotation is checked, new call will land on the member extension next to the one which received the previous call. When member rejects the call, place the call again flag is used for SIP or DKP extensions in the routing group. If the flag is checked, the SIP or DKP extension rejects the call once, the call will be placed again on the extension if not answered by any other member. If the flag is not checked and the SIP or DKP extension rejects the call once, the call will not be placed again on the extension even if not answered by any other member. This completes the entire configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Matrix Comsec.